What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here and today I'm gonna to be eating some California burritos. I got a couple California burritos right here. If you don't know what California burritos are, welcome to the club. I never heard of them until today either. I was looking at my, my delivery apps, you know, doing the usual thing, just scrolling, scrolling for hours on end it seems like until I finally found something new. Uh, and I found something called a California burrito. I thought it might be just like a, a gimmick, you know, maybe a Korean creation and then just slapped a name on it. But I looked it up and it's an actual thing. I hear it's popular in SoCal. I have a friend who's from SoCal. I asked him, he said it's a thing. Um, basically, they have like carne asada in there, some, some steak, um, some french fries, guac, maybe some cheese, sour cream, whatever. But I think the main things are you got to have that steak, you got to have the, the french fries and that guac. Um, so I got a couple of them here. I got this delivered for about 24 bucks. And I, honestly, this is one of those foods that I just know I'm going to like. I know I'm going to bite into it and be like, oh my God, yes. So I got two of them. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is the inside of my California burrito. You can see the fries, you can see the guac up here and the meat down here with some sour cream. I gotta tell you, when I cut that open, the smell coming off that was incredible. So they also gave me a couple little chips here as well as some hot sauce, some salsa, and some jalapenos, which, you know, I'll probably dab into a little bit, but I don't really care about that today. I just care about these right here. Let me just go ahead and go in for my first bite of a California burrito. I know this is gonna be, I know I'm gonna love it, so uh, expect a classic Ben Dean reaction here. Let's go. Big bite. <laughs> wow. Speechless there. I gotta take a little, a quick moment of silence. Oh my gosh. So first of all, the steak is amazing. You can really taste it. It's perfectly cooked. It's got a nice sear on it. Perfectly seasoned as well. The fries, I mean steak and fries, Steak and potatoes go so well, as well as they also have some little caramelized onions, which this is like the perfect, man, that was a, oh, that was like the perfect bite of food right there. Let me go on for another one, just make sure I'm not tripping here. You got the cheese in there too. Uh, you couldn't really see the guac. I mean, it was over on the side kind of, but uh, definitely in there. I'm not getting a lot of sour cream flavor, um, but it's supposedly in there as well. But I mean, actually, I could go for a little bit more sour cream to be honest, maybe as a, like a, to dip it in there, uh, but you don't need it. This is just, it's one of those foods where, you know, you might never have never had it before, but you just know it's like, Everything in there is stuff you like, and you wrap it up in a, in a tortilla, and it's just a, an amalgamation of all the kind of stuff you like, and it's you know it's going to be good. But honestly, this is this is a little bit better than I expected. I feel like I could legit eat this every single day. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of hot sauce as well. Or maybe a good amount there. Uh, focus it up. And you know what? It might not look that, gr that great in person or like on camera. It might look like a sloppy mess, but you know, you gotta trust me guys. This is where it's at. Mmm.
nothing I need to say. There's really nothing I need to say about this besides this really just delicious. You need to go out and try a California burrito if you never had it, if you never heard of it, if you can find it. I hear it's popular. It's not like the most popular thing, but you know, if you're from SoCal, you probably heard of it. Uh, popular enough that you know you might see it at the uh, the taco trucks down there. So you know it's definitely definitely a thing. And uh, even if you're not from Cali, even if they don't sell this outside of Cali, man, I would just make it at home. This thing is this thing is a beast. So hopefully you can see the guac a little bit better from this angle. Maybe not, but it's kind of on the side with the fries. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of cheese they use. Maybe kind of like a, a Mexican style uh, white cheese or something, but I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't really care. Mm, 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 mm. This is a pretty hefty burrito here. I mean, it's not like the biggest burrito I've ever seen. Uh, maybe it's not as big as a burrito you get in America, maybe not like Chipotle, but still, it's got some heft to it. It's definitely a good size. I could probably eat five of these. California burrito, man. Let me put a jalapeno on this. I've never seen I've never seen or heard of this before. I'm so glad I did though. Anyway, let's take a bite of this and then move on to something else. Mm. Um, let's see what's new. Been a while since I've uh, uploaded a food video. I apologize for that. I've tried to film on Wednesday a couple days ago, but either my camera's messing up or something's going on. Where, uh, like, I, when I was editing, I just I spent a lot of time just trying to to fix it. I don't know what happened, but the footage was really messed up. Basically unusable. I mean, I could have just uploaded a a, a crappy video. Or, well, like a video where the, the quality was very crappy, but I didn't want to do that, so uh, I decided not to. Yesterday I actually went golfing. Um, very random. One of my buddies uh, was gonna go golfing, and he invited me like a few days ago, like really randomly. I'm like, all right, might as well go. Um, played really well actually for me. I got a 108, which for me, I mean, lately I've been doing just sucking at golf. So for me, a 108 is. I was really happy with that. Fun day. Should I cut this or should I not cut this? So I cut the first one. I'm just gonna go ahead and ju and just eat this one. Uh, let's see. God. Oh, anyway, um, what else is new? NBA. I know there's a. Whenever I do a live stream, I got people asking me about the NBA. I talk about it from time to time because I am a fan of the NBA these days. To be fair, I called that LeBron is going to the Lakers on a live stream a while back. But that's crazy news. Boogie Cousins to the Warriors. That's even crazier, perhaps. I didn't see that coming at all. I don't think anyone did. Hmm.
Oh yeah, man. Oh, oh sorry, this is getting weird, but um, you know, the draft happened a couple weeks ago as well. I think the Bulls got a couple of little, eh, eh, a couple of decent little solid pickups, perhaps. But I mean, in this stage, man, at this point. You already know who's going to win at all. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully, the Bulls can develop a little bit more. I'm a Bulls fan, if you didn't know. Hopefully, that can just develop over the next few years and do something. But at least LeBron's out of the East. So, we're going to the playoffs. Eighth seed next year. Calling it right now. A lot of people also ask me about music. What music do I like? What am I listening to lately? And I gotta admit, I'm uh, I, I'm really just kind of disappointed in myself uh, because I've just stopped really looking for new music, downloading new music, and and listening to to new stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm just lazy or just or if nothing is really appealing to me these days. Maybe that because you know I used to be a huge rap hip hop fan. Or not huge, but that was like what I liked the most these days. I'm not really just, I'm not into the new stuff that much, I guess. Um, Anyway, Drake, new album. You OGs probably know I'm a I'm a Drake fan. Probably like my favorite rapper these days when he raps, but and this album, like when I first downloaded it, I thought it was like really pretty bad. Or just like forgettable, you know? And even still, I wouldn't call it one of his best albums, you know, but it has grown on me a, a, a decent amount. If you asked me a few days ago, I was like, man, I'll probably just save two songs and delete the rest, but, you know. Sometimes the albums, they just got to grow on you a little bit. But I think I am kind of weird when it comes to music. Everyone likes music, right? There's no one like, man, yeah, I don't like music at all. No one says that, right? But yeah, these days I feel like when it comes to music, I'm more picky on what I really like, you know? Like, I can just, I can groove, I can jam to just about anything. If I'm in a car and someone's playing music, whether it's, you know, I, sometimes the really poppy stuff is kind of uh, repetitive, um, country, eh. But other than that, like, I could, like, rock, rap, electronic, you know, I can just, uh, you know, I don't dislike it. I kind of, I can groove to it. But when it comes down to a song that I really like, I want to download it and play it on repeat until I get tired of it. I don't get many of those songs anymore, which is kind of, I don't know. Not good in my opinion. When I think about it, I've always kind of been that way though. Like, I don't know. For me, I, I guess I'm just picky when it comes to like, fire ass songs you know like everything's got to be right if one thing's off then i'm like eh like the beat or the uh, instrumentals the uh could be fire uh the flow or the 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 melodies are fire but the lyrics are a little bit weird and i'm like ah oh, man i can't really like this song that much anymore you know
I'm really sad to see this thing go, to be honest, man. California burritos, man. Where, where have you been at? This is definitely an A in my book. I'm definitely going to be ordering this again, that's for sure. Oh man, well that was a super enjoyable meal for me. Uh, hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys as well to watch. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!